Hi, Streets 94.5. You're going to Jasmine McBee. have a, a special guest and a friend to the show to come up here, Seven Streeter. Hello, mamas. How are you? How are you? Listen, girl, I know I, I booked you to um, come at my Singles Mingle Mixer. You did yes. a great job. Everyone loved you. You were looked amazing, Thank came you. out and killed it. But we got to talk about that body, honey. Let's talk about that body goals. Like, <laughs> what do you do to, to stay fit, to stay in shape? Um, You know what? I love running. I love a good treadmill. Really? And running, running like, it clears my mind. Okay. Um, It works out everything, you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. But I love running. Um, And then I, I, you know, I have a trainer who's amazing. His name is Mike Jones. Shout out, Mike. Mike! Um, who, he kicks my butt. <laughs> um, and he has been for, like, the last, like, eight like eight years i've had the same trainer so he's been always kicking my butt and then um you know i i try to eat clean you know i mean i love like give me veggies and um veggies and and seafood when i'm training for like video really so how hard is how hard is that keeping the diet while you're on the road oh you mean especially while i'm in atlanta Let's talk about we got some that. Good food, Let's right? talk about the food in Atlanta. How uh-huh. hard it is to like mm-hmm. because the food is so. I'm a I'm a country girl. I'm from Florida, mm-hmm. so give me a good shrimp and grits. Give me a good fried fish. Yes. And give me anything. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's a little difficult. But you know, when it's time to train for certain things, you mm-hmm. train for them. right. Yeah. And then your trainer will definitely kick your butt for all the things that you've eaten while right? you, you were in Atlanta. What? Absolutely. <laughs> he got to just let that slide. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, of course, you're one of the, the top artists in the game right now. Yeah. Um, But you're also a dope songwriter. You've written for uh, Alicia Keys, Brandy, Chris Brown, uh, amongst all things. But I remember uh, Money Long saying that, because uh, she's she was a, she is a songwriter, mm-hmm. and she said that um, in the industry, people treat you bad as a songwriter, and sometimes they treat you as the help, and you have to be okay with that. Is that true? I, was that true for you? I, I think that, like, for one, everybody has their, their own walk within this industry. Mm. You know? For me personally, I definitely started out being predominantly a songwriter, and um, but... I, I, I actually, I, re- I really enjoyed the process of it. Mm. I liked being able to um, just kind of see the industry from a different scope. Yeah. You know, to be able to see people approach projects um, mm. from a different angle and mm. be able to sit back and um, just watch how they sequence things, watch lyrically and learn from other writers. Mm. Like, these are all things that, like, I was able to pour into my projects okay. when it was time for me to pour into my projects. Nice. So, um, I like I liked the... Um, you know, all the extra time that I had as, as strictly a songwriter because now I get to combine, you know, the two every single day, you know. And I have been able to for a couple of, some, for some years now, but mm-hmm. it's just, um, I don't, for me, I feel like there couldn't be one without the other. They both play a very significant part for me. So right. my journey, I take my journey, you know what I mean? It's Love cool, it. Love yeah. it. Yeah. So do you, because I know you're, you know, songwriting now yeah. um, and artist. Do, are you still writing songs for other people? Always. I'm always writing. Okay. Always, always. I love it all. I, I love my artistry side, and I love being a songwriter. So I mm-hmm. love, um, you know, creating my own projects, you know, Drunken Words, Sober Thoughts, yes. 23s, and all that good stuff. But then I also love, you know, writing songs for soundtracks and writing songs, you know, for things like that, which I'm also working on, too. So, mm-hmm. you know. Is there ever a song that you've written and you said, and you gave it to somebody? He was like, Damn it! This should have been my song. Uh, you know, <laughs> what was that? People ask me that all the time, and my answer is no. Really? No, no because um, you know, like I said, I do enjoy it all. There have been times mm. where I know that like this a, a specific song came from, uh, let's say, a very personal experience for mm. me, and it might have been a little, you know, a little, little hard to be like, oof, okay, it's, you know, gotta let my baby go. But okay. when the artist kills it, it, it just, it makes it all the, you know, the more, it makes it better. Love and it. um, it's, it's just kind of how the art works. It doesn't bother me like that, no. Love that. Now, yeah. speaking of Chris Brown, I, and I remember when you, when you first hit the scene as an artist, mm-hmm. and they said, oh, you know, she used to do background for Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. And I'm going back listening to the song, because I love Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Listen to the song, and I'm like, this, this was her, yeah. like on the She Ain't You yes, records. Ma'am. Do you still keep in contact with Chris Brown? I mean, when I see him out and about, we okay. see each other. We're both very busy. He's very busy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm a, currently a studio hermit, which I always am. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm just like, you know, dove and like locked into my new project. I haven't mm-hmm. really seen much of anybody, honestly. So. Really? Yeah, I stay locked in. Like, I'm locked, especially during uh, during like projects. So I haven't seen him in a minute. But 
Okay. Yeah. Because you are a studio hermit, yes. as most artists and, and driven women are, <laughs> yeah. how your relationships, like, do you get a chance to date? And even if you do I date do. someone, do they really have a an issue with you always working and locked in the studio? Um, no. I'm, no and if, I, if I'm speaking, like, you know, in terms of, like, right now, like, I'm dating. Okay. You know, I'm getting I'm getting to know some people, and I like to say that. Okay. I like to take my time and really get to know um, people. And, um, no, I think that going into it, Mm -hmm. Um, they respect my work okay. and um, I respect theirs too because I like to talk to the type of men that I enjoy talking to or men that I can learn from, men that have their own things going on so they're not so, um, you know, they're not expecting me okay. to, uh, to be on a certain schedule. They mm -hmm. understand what comes along with, you know, with what this thing is that I do for a living, you know? <sighs> now, you know we got to get to your business girl, so. <laughs> Who, okay, so I know you, you had a relationship publicly. Like 50 million years ago. <laughs> Like you we but so, <laughs> and we hate to sometimes remember that. But he was industry person. But would you date industry or would you date just like a regular guy? Um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna date uh I'm gonna date and uh, be into what understand uh, they have to understand what I'm into. You know okay, what I mean? so I'm not really I'm not really you have to do this in order for us to you know catch a vibe. No. Nah. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I think that, you know, having uh, just commonalities, you know, right. that always does help, you know, your schedule. That's and, important. Um, your interests and that whole type of thing. So it's not necessarily like, you know, what I date a regular guy. I don't even really know what. I don't really. Girl, I don't you know, like a not, you know, like a nine to five or a guy that has a set schedule and he doesn't really understand, but he but you have something thing, to come in. If you don't understand, <laughs> you then we be. might have a little bit of a, you right. know. Um, but you know, I'm not going to listen. I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't consider it a, a person in terms of what they do. I don't, okay. I don't, for it to, I don't call it regular. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? It's just like, oh, you just, we got two different walks of life. Your mm -hmm. path is different from mine. But mm -hmm. if, you know, if you understand my life, then we good. But does he have to make more money than you? Um, I would like, yes, I would actually like for my man. Right, because I think I women, like yeah, I think women, I we need to. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? See, and then they, I'm not going to say they, because they all don't do it, but I feel like women, we need to be honest about, you know, what it is that we want sometimes, because yeah. it's like, listen, I do want a man that makes a little bit more than me. It, yeah. There's nothing wrong with us saying that. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's also it's not one of those things, um, you know, to be strictly hung up on, because you can have somebody who makes, you know, I can't curse on them, but like a ton of money. Girl. And emotionally, they're not okay. You know, uh, spiritually, whatever it is, spiritually, emotionally, whatever, the, all of the lees. <laughs> you know what I Trust mean? Trust me. I know. Um, and you can have, you know, his bank account, you have so much money. So it's just, you just have to know what you want. And mm -hmm. um, I think that that's important for, for women. Um, you know, like I'm, I think that's important for women to know and to be okay with. It's okay to know what you want. Take your time and figure out if that's what you want. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about this new song, 23. Yes. What is 23? What is that? Because that can mean a, a lot of different things. So what does 23 mean to you? I mean, when when I think of 23, I mean, a lot of us, we think of 23, we, our minds automatically go to Jordan. Right. You know, and his <laughs> greatness and uh -huh. him being the best version of himself and um, just really taking care of and honoring and loving his craft. Right. And, um, you know, it's the same we think about Jordan that way. We thought about Kobe and his Mamba mentality, mm -hmm. you know, or anytime we see somebody with the two, with the two three on, it's, it's a certain type of drive, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and um, that comes along with that number. And so when mm -hmm. with the record with twenty three, um, it took on a different meaning for me. I okay. literally just want to be the greatest version of myself. I love, that. and I want everybody. I think we should all strive to be the two three versions of ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that's that's the energy of it, you know. When love you it. listen to it, it's talking about. You know your aura glowing. It's it's mm -hmm. it's very positive. It's speaking um, just life to yourself. And mm -hmm. I, for me, it was a reminder to not keep yourself in a box. You mm -hmm. know, twenty three is sonically. It's a little bit. It's a different sounding for me in terms of what some of my fans have heard. Mm -hmm. But um, it's very much still a part of me. One day I want to write a country record. One day I want to write a, a a quote unquote a pop record. Whatever type mm -hmm. of record. But as a songwriter. Honestly, first, I like to bounce around. I like it. to experiment a lot. And um, 
I don't like to put myself in, into a box. Right. So it's like me being the best version of myself, the two, three version of myself is saying, mm -hmm. just express yourself in whatever way that is, but make sure you feel great about it. So I, that's Aww. what two, three means. I know? love that explanation. You gave such a deep meaning to it. So <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at 23 yeah. in another way. And I, I know you said that, you know, as a woman, um, you know, sometimes we, we have to pull that strength from something or mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. So where exactly do you pull your strength from? Ooh, I pull a lot of my strength from, um, I like to call my inner child, like the younger versions of ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. um, that before, like, you know, you understood what a no was, or you know, in yes. terms of what you were striving for. You understood uh -huh. what a no was before... You know, life gave you a couple little bumps and bruises, which is normal. A couple. Right? You Girl, <laughs> <laughs> a couple. They you, are still throwing us around gonna, in life. It's going to keep happening. Right. You know what I mean? But it's mm -hmm. like I the thing that always, like, really, really motivates mm -hmm. me is, like, I think about the younger version of mm -hmm. yourself. Think about that. That said, oh, when I get older, I want to do this. Like, oh. you know, I want to try this thing. And um, and we, we set that fearlessly. Mm -hmm. um, so I always... I, I keep her in mind, the younger version of myself, and go, okay, you wanted to be a singer when you grow up. Mm. Okay, well, girl, you're a singer now. Now let's let's make sure you really appreciate that, honor that, and mm. let's honor that young child that, that had that dream because we're here now. Let's, let's rock. Oh, I so, love that. So you just yeah. remind yourself of, the, of those blessings that yeah. you had before yeah, just as a, as a reminder that say, hey, you know, hey, at once you pray for this, it's remind. here. Yeah. So let's continue to try to keep this blessing that we have. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And watch it turn into more. Right. Yeah. So your um your last project, a drunken word, sober thoughts, honey. Yeah. And I I remember my uncle saying that was it was it a, a drunk man speaks a sober mind? Uh -huh. Is that kind of is that how? It is? Well, yes, because you already know you give somebody one too many drinks, <laughs> they're gonna tell you all their business. <laughs> You know what I mean? You can add you anything out of it that you want. But um, so, yes, a lot of that has a lot of truth to it for, for drunken words, sober mm -hmm. thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, we had a couple of drinks when we was writing the records. So <laughs> um, so a I, whole vibe, right? A whole vibe. But, um, but, yeah, when I think of drunken words, uh, sober thoughts, I really feel like um, you can be under the influence of a million different emotions. Mm -hmm. And I like to write from so many different places. So when you hear drunken words, sober thoughts, the deluxe, um, each song, just kind of comes from a different emotion. It comes mm -hmm. from, you know, let's say that feeling of missing somebody, that feeling of being loved, mm -hmm. you know, new, freshly, newly in love, that feeling of being a little jealous, that all of all of the ranges of emotions because mm -hmm. we can be under the influence of them all. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of the project during quarantine, so I spent a mm -hmm. lot of time by yourself and kind of just listening to yourself and allowing myself to be under the influence of whatever emotion it was. And I would go downstairs in my studio and we would write the records. And um, that's how the majority of drunken words, sober thoughts came to be. So, oh my gosh, that's the, that's the mood it took on for me. I love that. I know men say y'all, baby, y'all crazy. Y'all, of course, happy listen. one day, sad the next, depressed one minute, jealous one minute. Like I, what is going? Like all the emotions of a woman. They're called superpowers. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Hello, seriously, they, they are called superpowers. Think about it. Like us uh -huh. as women, I mean, like we're literally equipped to bring new life into the world. If we're not you know, in touch with all of those emotions, mm -hmm. then how can we actually bring another life? Like, Thanks. we got to come equipped with these things. You know what I mean? Thanks. So it's, it's let them call us whatever they want. Like, yeah. You know. Men, they just got to get the program <laughs> hanging. So um, yeah. do record labels, like, do they put pressure on you as an artist to consistently push out music and, and pull music and con uh, put the pressure on you to continue to be creative? Just mm. Giving everybody more, 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 more. Um, I think I think right now, you know, we live in an instant gratification oh, yes. world. So, um, and a lot of it, uh, you know, they it's a lot of we want it now. And so, I think that, you know, labels are gonna always be labeling. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that's cool. Um, as long as for me, mm -hmm. for me, I always say the most important thing for me, first and foremost, is the song. Okay. You know what I mean? I understand. We can have great visuals. My personal life can be whatever it is, but it all still starts with a great song for me. So, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so, you know, they definitely be on my head like, all right, girl, when we going to get this, you <laughs> okay. know, this new song or this new, new music. Mm -hmm. But um, I do feel like, uh, at least in terms of the way that I like to mm -hmm. run my, my, my shit, mm -hmm. 
um, we always meet in a place that respects the music, but still make sure that we don't leave the fans and the people, you know. Yeah. Not waiting too long, because my fans will cuss me out on Twitter. Girl, I see them cussing out all they artists. I'm like, me. I know it has to be hard for y'all, because <laughs> if y'all don't share, like, a certain piece of your life or share more music or you yeah. take too long to put out music, they're cussing y'all out. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, okay, we like that picture, baby, but when's the album Ooh. coming out? Like, yeah, that, that baby cute, but when's the <laughs> song coming out? Like, I take it all in love. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's all in love. They just they just want some new vibes, and I feel them, so I get yeah. it. You okay. Know? Yes. They, they coming. They be coming. Y'all got to trust us. Okay? <laughs> so trust it. So yes. um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Ooh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the happiest, Yes. 1 being miserable. Miserable. Um, I would say right about now, um, I'm at, I'll, I'll say I'm like at an eight. Okay. And I'll say I'm at an eight because, um, well, right now my, my new project is like 80% done. So okay. I, I got, I'm almost there, but I can <laughs> see the light at the end of the tunnel and I'm still putting a few things together. Um, but, you know, my personal life is, I'm having a great time. My personal Love life, it. I'm learning some new people. Love my, it. my family's straight. Um, I'm feeling extremely creative Love it. and, um, and you know, just allowing myself to create however I feel. So that's a, it's an eight, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and then also when I'm in like planning mode, when I'm like preparing for something, it's mm -hmm. like, it'll be a 10 once everything on my list is like checked off, you know, but right now it's an eight and I feel good about my eight. Understandable. Understandable. Yes. So, um, can you tell us anything about the new project? Um, what can I tell you? What can you give us a tease? Because you know your fans are going to be tuned in, and, okay, and they're going to be glued to I don't want them cursing me out because Jazzy didn't ask about the new project. Well, what I will say is, and, and it, I'll be honest, you mm -hmm. probably won't have it on this side of the year. Okay. But um, I do have a few more surprises for them on this side oh. of the year. But in terms of the project, I will say this. If if you listen to 2-3 and you understand the energy um, and the intention and the mm -hmm. vibe behind 2-3, Mm -hmm. Just know that um, two three is just the beginning. Okay, you know what I mean. Yes. Um, the project is on. You're gonna hear a lot more of me experimenting with things Ooh. and sounds that I, you know, have always just wanted to. So, um, yeah, just don't expect for it. For don't ever. Expect, and I say this to my fans all the time. Please don't ever expect for me to come back to you the same way. Okay, good. Like, you know, let's just get that on. You know, out the way. That's a good you. thing, though. It, it's a great. I thing. think it's. A, I think you it's know? a good thing for artists to give us. You know, some type of um, evolution of yeah. who they are. Yeah, I think we keep in mind the things yeah. that. Um, you know, I know the 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 space that right. the fans like. They mm -hmm. like, you know, the it won't stops the before I do the taboos, which is on taboo was on drunken West sober uh -huh. too. And there's a um there's a special type of thread that goes through those mm. records, but um it's it's that sweet middle ground, sweet singing seven streeter. I'm a, I'm gonna always give you that. Okay. But um do know that I, I have to I gotta be free and experiment and try different things. I I live for that musically. Love it. Yeah. Will we see you on tour anytime soon again with Mary? Mary um, J. Blige. That could be amazing. Oh my! I know gosh. she's out here killing her tour. Like she's she killing it. Amazing. She's killing it. I live on the Mary comments because Mary just be looking too good. To go I, crazy. I'm trying to tell you. Try, try, like, for real, for real. I love Mary. She look good and her hair stay fly and her clothes stay fly. Don't get me started. Shout out Mary. Um, <laughs> Shout out Mary. Yes. Love her. Um, but I would love to. We, I really, uh, I love doing her her festival. Um, mm -hmm. when she would hit, when she was Strength singing. of a Woman. Strength of a mm -hmm. Woman was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And it felt like that. Even, mm -hmm. like, you know, um, backstage with all of the women. Mm -hmm. It just felt great. You know, so I love that. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be probably back on the road next year. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm gearing up for uh, you know, I'm, I'm closing out this project, getting this project good, okay. and ready for you guys. Give you give them a few more surprises on this side, and then next year, new album, love it, new tour, love You it. know, hit the road, new videos, couple other things on my sleeve. I'm working on some television things. Yay! So, you know, movies. I mean, come on, uh, we got. What are we doing? It's not movies. Docu. Well, Soundtrack wise, yes. Okay. Movies, which I'm Love really it. excited about. Okay. That. Um, there's one movie in particular I've been I've been waiting to to sink my teeth in. Okay. I'm okay. Excited about that. All right. Um, but yeah, just you know, television, like more t more TV. All right. For nice, sure. nice. So, um, yes. I like to end the show with a uh, inspirational, motivational message. So, okay. what is one message or um quote that you go to to get your inspiration from? 
Uh, one quote. Or uh, just message or just anything to just remind yourself that it is going to be okay or, or something that just inspires you. Um, I just I just always encourage people to um, just, to ne- I, and I've said this for years too, but to never feel like you should be further, further than where you are. Mm. Like there's always something at the level that you're at that you're supposed to look around Figure out what it is. Take that tool, put that on your tool belt, and move to the next level and keep progressing. Because what you don't want to happen is, as life progresses, as you mm-hmm. get more opportunities, because they're gonna come no mm-hmm. matter what your right now looks right. like. But you're gonna get to that space and be like, "Ooh, I really need a hammer right here." And mm-hmm. then you're gonna look back and go, "Oh, when I was on that level, I picked up that hammer and I put it on my tool belt because I learned that lesson here, mm-hmm. and now you have it to apply." So it's like, just never feel like, you know. Um, that you should be further along, like God's timing is a real thing. Oh my gosh, and, that and is I so good. Wholeheartedly believe in that. So, um, embrace that. Embrace where you are. Stay focused. Mm-hmm. Set your days. Wake up. Write down what it is that you want to do. Manifestation is real. Oh my god. Um, and I mean that wholeheartedly. Take care of your mental health. I have on my mental health t shirt too. Oh, I love it. Let's see. Mental health equals physical health that is so true because when that mental is not okay like your body breaks down like when you're under a lot of stress uh, you get all these aches and pain it is real it It is real but that you know you got to work on that the Mm -hmm. same way you would go get on a treadmill or the same Mm -hmm. way you would go to the you mean to the gym yeah you got to it starts from the head down Down. so that would be my my bit of advice to anybody who just needs advice to just keep going like you could you right where you're supposed to be at the right time. That is such a word. So any yeah. la- any last words, Seven? Man, um, I mean it's 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 pretty much that you know. Yeah. I say that and take all of that and um, become the two three version of yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean that when I say that. Mm-hmm. Um, become the best version of you. When I say of you, I mean of you, not anybody else. So put your blinders on. Mm-hmm. You know I mean get have your tunnel vision. Be the two three version of you, and um, yeah, just go be your greatest. You know be your greatest absolutely well seven streeter thank you so much for stopping by yes. make sure that you thank guys you. download the new song 23 and 23 yes. y'all i'm telling you listen she is going to have the album on the way next yes. year she's 80 percent but for now they have drunken words sober <laughs> thoughts deluxe absolutely yes. so follow her on social media yes at seven just s-c-v-y-n on my twitter my instagram my tiktok it's just seven streeter and, um, yeah, do some dances. Have some fun with 23, too, because, listen here, the girls have been going crazy, crazy. with the dances. And I'm like, oh, I need to learn this one, that one, right. that one, that one. <laughs> and I'm going to be posting this and that one, that one. So it's been really, really fun, you know. Okay. So have some fun with it. Good. Yeah. Well, Seven Street, once again, thank you so much for stopping by. You oh, are a dope a songwriter, an amazing artist. You're a dope person, personality thank in person. And you just so chill. So thank much you. blessings Appreciate to you and, uh, Future projects. Hopefully, you come back. It's you really, know, really coming back. Really, you really know, soon. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm All right, Streets yes. 94.5, we out.